Hey everyone, welcome to Planet Zoo. It's a fun, kind of cute game about, you know, taking care of animals, conserving the environment. I've been playing a lot of this lately and it got me thinking about conserving in other ways. And, you know, I'll just load up the map and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so as you see, there's a really big area here. This is all part of the zoo. And that could all be used for native wildlife. All the whatever bison, whatever lives in America. So I've got a plan to fix that, to make the whole zoo a lot more compact and save a lot of this nice ecosystem here. So it's been a little while. Welcome back to the zoo. Um, yeah, I don't know how to how to describe this. I call it the uh, wedding cake. And the basic idea is you can have a couple tiers. Each one has staff access. You've got a little like walkway up here. You can see the animals from, and it gives the animals lots of shelter, so they don't have to worry about you know they don't have to need any big structure in there. So it looks a lot nicer, and most importantly, all these animals, it's a tiny little amount of space here. So I've got, up at the top, I've got, um, where are they? Got some aardvarks, you know, just something nice and small. They don't want to make a tower too heavy. Down a tier, as you probably saw earlier, I've got some wolves, just a little pack of them. Down here, I've got lots of room, so I figured I'd get big giraffes. You know, I don't have to worry about them falling, because they're, they're down at the bottom. You can see guests are just piling in, they're loving it here. There's um, litter complaints, because I can't exactly put bins in the staircase, but that's alright. They can live with that. Um, oh, yeah, and down here... Um, whoops. Sorry, it's a bit... Bit tricky to get in here but yeah this is the um the basement because like any good wedding cake oh yeah don't mind that it's um i dug into the sewer just a little bit but we fixed it up it's watertight so um yeah it's actually got an underground section could keep going deeper there's plenty of room in the earth but down here i figure it'll be nice and warm from the geothermal heat It'll be dark because it's in a cave, so it's perfect for nocturnal African animals. So I've got hyenas. They're actually pretty happy here. Their food could be a bit better, but that's it. I can just change that setting. I think one of them might be sick too, but you know, you get them that way. I only just bought them. This is a sewer access. Yeah. And, um, oh, here's the reservoir. Because, you know, if you're in a small zoo, you're only going to get a fraction of the rain that a full-size zoo is going to get. So I need somewhere to collect water and store it in case we ever get low. But yeah, things are things are going pretty well. Um, I have had some complaints, though. Some guests have heard some weird things going on. So I'm just going to take a quick look through here. Diseased animals... Um, you know, the sewers all seem pretty good. I don't know, just, just reports of, you know, people are kind of paranoid sometimes, but, um, I don't know what they're complaining about. 
Wait, is that something? What's... Oh, of course. Like any good zoo. We've got our very own sewer crocodile. Look at him. I'll get away from here. But yeah, that's just my first little build, trying to give you some ideas. You know, they're all free to copy if you work in city planning or whatever. You want to make your own zoo, you're free to make it however you like based on this. It's really good, efficient design. You know, great use of land, great use of money. And I think that's about it. Have fun building and enjoy the video. I guess you already enjoyed it if you would have, but...